what is self-soothing and what are some practical ways that we can actually implement this and what's the difference between self-regulating and co-regulating. Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm a holistic transpersonal counselor and a somatic therapist. Co-regulation is something that we may have heard of before, but it's really when we engage with another person and we're really utilizing their nervous system state to return to our center, to return to a safe and social and engaged. So this is called the ventral vagal state where we're attuning to things such as their eyes, the way they're looking at us, or the way they're tilting their neck, or their vocal prosody, so the tone and the melody of their voice, as well as other things. Self-regulation in opposition to this, I guess, is when we have an awareness that we are a bit dysregulated and we're just going to utilize tools or the environment there are a multitude of things that we could use to self-regulate i just wanted to offer some practical tools that i use to self-regulate as well as some other smaller things that might just happen in my day-to-day -day that i can take advantage of so i'll start with those and those are things such as a heat pack it's starting to get into the cooler weather feeling warm and cozy is something that makes me feel really safe it allows me to breathe more deeply and that in adjacent with the warmth is something that works really well so moving on to breathing some deep belly breathing is obviously going to be something that is going to be really helpful to help self-regulate so whether you need to count the breaths in and then extend the exhale that's going to be something that's going to be really important so just really focusing on the exhale being longer than the inhale then the inhale because that's going to actually massage your parasympathetic nerve and something that i would really encourage people to do is probably make a list of your five senses and trying to identify maybe a couple of things in each area that you feel could help you self-regulate if you need to so for me for example for my scent i really love the scent of lemon myrtle and I also really like incense. So there are two things that I can do that I know can just bring me into a place where I can self-regulate. Stay tuned and follow for more practical resources as to what I use to self-regulate.